Let the ghost be. It's 14 years. It's time you buried the dead. They're buried, Cap. But you want to walk over their grave once in a while just to make sure. Got a great idea. European tour. What do you say? It's no good. Berlin, Madrid, Paris, Vienna, Budapest. They got a nice sound. Europe's just a big Jonah for American circuses. They've always flopped. Yeah, they're in it for the money. And you ain't? I love a circus. Oh, Matt. Lily's gone, forget her. When she ran out that night, it was over. Like that puff of wind. It's gone. Matt, let it stay that way. Got a lot to do tomorrow, Cap.
between man and beast. Yes, sir. Have May write for Tony. Right. Are you sure you're all right? Yes. Well, what happened? There was a, a bird in the tent. Ladies and gentlemen, we offer you tonight a cast of Derry and a pair of ladies' feet from Skill. Still seeing things, huh? It was there. That's why I slipped. A bird in the tent is one of the very worst omens. There's no sense to superstitions, Tony. It's unreal. It's a part of a make-believe world. What's wrong with a make-believe world? It's for weak people to hide in. I'm not hiding in anything, Matt. Look at that rabbit's foot around your neck. Horse hair in your handkerchief and owl feathers. You can't perform with things like that on your mind. It's dangerous. Matt, those are good omens, like you. You are a good omen. All good omens make good things happen. I guess I raised you wrong. No, you haven't. You've raised me as good as any real father could. What are you afraid of, Tony? <laughs> Almost everything. I was scared of going to Europe. Then this morning I found a milk-white butterfly. That means I'm going to have a wonderful trip. A butterfly is a moth. A moth means moth holes. It's all bunkum. Omens, hexes, voodoos. It's all bunkum. Come on, I'll prove it to you. Oh, no! Bread and butter! Oh, Matt, please! Leave the hat there. A hat on the bed! Leave it there, Tony. Now. Oh, stand back. Because I'm going to bust a $10 mirror. But it'll be cheap if it proves to you that superstitions are for crazy heads. Oh. 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 Don't be scared. It doesn't count if you do it on purpose. Scared? That mirror business is all bunkum. I was just a little careless. Good thing it was a Stetson. And... <laughs> well, you can't say I didn't try. Oh, Matt, I don't worry about omens when you're around. Because when you love somebody, nothing can hurt you. And I love you, Matt. You sure cheer a fella up. Well, you better get to finishing your packing. I'll get Steve to pick you up. Oh, uh, I'm glad you found that lousy milk-white butterfly. 
Hey, that was an awful lot of yelling you were doing to Tony. Family discussion. You can't get away from the fact that there was a bird in the tent the night that Alfredo fell and her ma ran out. Have you got anything else on your mind? Yes, I have. Lily, if you're going to Europe, you better do a little thinking about her. She's liable to come out of hiding to get a look at her daughter. Well, we'll take care of that. Why don't you mind your own business? You've got a circus to get moving. Steve! Glad to hear you signed up for the tour. You shouldn't be. Sounds like bad news. Are you up to hearing it? I was weaned on it. Well, at first I was thinking about trying to talk you out of this European tour. But then I figured just let him go bust and I'd be around to... You'd step in, new acts, new flags in the tent, new money thrown at you. You're not sore? Why should I be? It's the way I started 10 years ago. Got tired of being a rodeo bum, grabbed an expiring big top, kicked everybody out and took over. That's exactly my plan. I've been open with you, Matt. You want to fire me? No, I think you'd better stick around. I'll feel better if I know there's a new genius handy to take over. In the meantime, will you bring Tony to the ship? Say, Matt, you wouldn't consider skipping this European thing and staying like you are. I'm asking as a friend. Thanks for saying that, Steve. Shows you got a big heart. Almost as big as your head. <laughs> ship leaves at two. Uh, knuckle-headed hero of yours asked me to come by and take you to the ship. Come in. Come in. I'd be ready in a few minutes. Come in. Come. This is almost my favorite. Tony, don't you ever get tired of looking at that same stuff? Oh, Steve, look at this one. Why is rolling me over his head? I've seen it 50 times. Alfredo, famed circus star, starts training daughter Tony for a trapeze career. Tony will someday be the greatest of the flying Alfredo, says father. Says father. Yeah, that's something new, isn't it? Yes, I put it in last week. Isn't he sweet looking? He's a stand who watches over the beautiful souls in paradise. You know, that's where Alfredo is. Mm -hmm. What are those things? Owl feathers. They protect you from falling. You know, paradise is pretty high up. <laughs> you know something? I think you're a little crazy. Come on, Tony. Here, finish packing, will you? Hey, what's this? Kind of too small for you, aren't they? My first birthday present from my uncle Aldo, one of the flying Alfredos. They're cute. Well, come on, hurry up, Tony, will you? I haven't got all night. I'll hurry if you'll take me to the Bon Voyage party. There's no chance. It's no place for kids. Kids? I'm a woman with Sicilian blood in her. You ever hear of a vendetta? Would you stop making those faces? It makes you look nutty. Sicilians are sensitive, like horses, and proud. You just remember that. When you insult a Sicilian, it's for all his life and for yours. That's a vendetta. Thank you. Thank you very much for the information. Now, are you coming or not? Go by yourself. Go on. Go. All right. Steve! Steve! Oh. I hope you get seasick. All the way. Take her all the way up. That's it. Hold it. All right. Swing it in. Take it in. Take it in. Come on, man. <laughs> That's my point. 
pardon me. I'm Billy Hedigan of Billboard magazine. By the way, aren't you the daughter of the world's most renowned aerial artist, the Flying Alfredos? Yes. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it the first time I saw you. Yeah. Oh, Lily's beautiful face. <laughs> and the carriage, it's unmistakable. Did you know my father? Oh, great chums, yeah. Any news of your mother lately? I don't care to talk about her. It's been 14 years since she disappeared, hasn't it? I don't know. Oh, yeah. The night since your father had his fatal accident, 14 years to the day. Did I understand you to say you never heard from your mother since that sad night? Well, if it isn't my old pal Hennigan, if there's anything I'm going to miss in Europe, it's a billboard magazine and Hennigan. Give me a cup of coffee, will you? Yes, ma'am. The coffee is on board. You're spoiling a good feature story, the man. The story's dead. No, 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 not this one, my dear fellow. It's just coming alive. Will the renowned Lily Alfredo come out of hiding to greet her lovely daughter as a fellow artist? Shake down. Oh, no, no, no. There's a tear in it. There's a real tear in it. Well, how much will Billboard magazine pay for this tear? Well, I let myself go. I, I might fill $25 worth of space with it. Here's 50. Write it for me. Send it to Matt Masters somewhere in Europe. That's very good of you, Matt. I appreciate talent. I don't deserve it. I agree. Ladies and gentlemen, the slider for life. Cargo net! Cargo net! Ah, 
Jason. Oh, that we've got divers down in the hole right now looking for the safe and the cash boxes. We're doing the best we can. Explain that. Dice que ahora, en este momento, un buzo está intentando localizar la caja fuerte en la que vimos mucho dinero. That's where I'm going. You wait. Pagan, pagan. No, 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 no. You wait here. No, 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 no. Wait. No puede permitir una interrupción. I got the feed for the animals, Matt, but the fellow doesn't want to leave it till he gets paid. Well, hang on to him. Keep talking. Well, I've been talking. Oh, he's muy simpatico. He's very sorry. He's all for feeding the animals, but he's also got a family to feed. Well, keep conversing with him. We've got the divers coming up with the cash boxes. Maybe. Senor. Well, I'll try. The boat master says, with the deepest sympathy for your problems, he says he's sorry, but it is necessary that the ship be removed as soon as possible. The harbor was a Well, I, I, I understand him, and I yeah. sympathize with him, and we're going to remove it as soon as possible. Matt, I, I hate to bother you right now, but could you help them? They're broke, nothing to eat, no place to sleep. Honey, how can I? Job, you got any money? 
Well, no. Pio? Oh. And you, Tony? Me? Nothing. Same here. I haven't got a nickel. Not a sou, not a peseta. Senor Masters. Yes, Your Honor. The Harbour Master says, and believe me, he deeply regrets that if you do not remove the ship, it becomes the responsibility of the Port Authority. And it might be most expensive for well, you. Well, then they... let him take it, salvage it. You're welcome to it. I just hope there'll be a little left for our expenses. <laughs> Hey, Matt! Matt! They just brought up some of the boxes! Isn't that a picture of my mother? Yes, it is. Here. Pay the man. Get some meat for those cats. Spread this among the performers and get them some to eat. Yes, ma'am. Like he's trying to work off his miseries. The miseries he's got, mister. All his animals are boarded in Spain. Nothing left in the cash boxes. And still, he's trying to kill himself. Hey, Tony. Tony, I got it. That's part of the old act that made him a star. Remember? When he used to jump off the hotel roof and make his getaway? He's thinking what I'm thinking. It's time to talk to the man. Come on. Hey, hey Matt. You, you got a few minutes? What do you want? Well, while you're still able to talk, I'd like to hear you say when we're going home. Not going home. Well, Matt, you can't stay here. You're broke. And I'm not broke. I got myself a job with Ed Purdy. You got a job with Ed Purdy? When a fella's out of work, he gets himself a job. Not with Ed Purdy, you don't. Look, Matt, back home, you got friends, you got contacts. You could hook onto something good for all of us. Well, I only ask for a job for myself. I'm in no position to ask favors of anyone else. You all can go or stay, as you please. What about you, Tony? You want to go home? Home is where you are. What about you? I thought you were going to stick around and pick up the pieces. Steve, where are you going? Where do you suppose? I'm going to see Ed Purdy about getting a job. And I'll settle for a partnership. You and me. Partners. That's a very attractive offer, Mr. McCabe. Fella doesn't very often get a chance to go in partnership with a horse-riding popper. That's what you need right now. A partner. If 
figuring on being a partner to me or anybody, you better go out and earn it. Among the things I'm good at is taking advice from my elders. I'll go with you. Elders. Partners. That Texas punk. Well, you should have belted him. Look, now, why don't you be a good boy, take your hat in your hand, go over to Ed Purdy, and see if you can borrow some equipment for those kids to practice with. Old Ed Purdy? That's right. Well, <laughs> he better be careful the way he talks to me. I knew that phony wouldn't. Come on. Pretty dreary. Kind of quiet, huh? Yep. Want to change it? Oh. Let's go into the opening act. You gotta be kidding. Just take the cue, boy. Take the cue. What's happening? Just hang on. What? Matt Masters, you're not going to. Oh, yes, we are. <whistles> Let's go. Yeah! Yeah! Masters, l'artiste, célébrant Wild West, Heroic Man, arrêté a coach de Didwood Dick, en Champs-Élysées, bravo, Matt Masters, premier artiste de la Far West. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty sure was sore at you. Cooled off when he saw that crowd tonight. Well, why didn't you tell him it was your idea? He might have made you a partner. Partner. Listen, you've had your jokes, you've finished your dinner. Do you want me to answer these telegrams or not? There are two new ones here. One's Hagenbeck in Copenhagen. There's one from London, Associated Shows. Can you use your animals? How much? Have spot for Liberty horses. How much? Answering? Sure. What are you trying to do? Get me drunk? To be frank, yes. Just enough to relax you so you might say a few words about our secret future. Well, you don't have to get me drunk. 
I'm gonna build a new show. I swore I'd never use that dirty word again, but when do we sail? We don't. We stay right here. You can't build a circus here in Paris. There ain't five Frenchmen that can sit a horse. Always thinking of a dog and pony show. I'm talking about a circus. Europe is the home of the circus. All the big acts came from here. Belgium, Germany, France. The big name families, the Hannafords, the Bradnas, the people that spell circus. They were born here. So I figure that while we're taking this little tour of Europe at Purdy's expense, we can pick up a few of these great acts and build a real show. Man, I'm for it. That's new thinking, showmanship. That's what I'm good at. If we can latch onto them before Barnum, before Sales Floto, all the rest. Say, the Madrano Circus is in town. I think I'll go over and see if they got anything good enough for the new Masters McCabe United shows. Come on, Tony. Now, look, I might be a silent partner, but I'm a partner. You mind if I go? If you can stand him. Well, at least he gives me top billing. Now, listen. Not that I'm going to object to anything anymore, but I want to get this straight. We stay with Bertie for the rest of the European play dates. And in our spare time, we visit carnivals and Humpty Dumpty tent shows while you look and look and look. That's about the size of it, Cap. I look and look. And you're going to find Lily. Sure. Lily Alfredo. That's why we're stumbling around Europe. You still love her. Why don't you get drunk? You plastered this continent for two solid years with cablegrams. Where's Lily? Where's Lily? Not for me, for Tony. I stopped looking when Tony was four. You're still looking. Get this into that empty head of yours and keep it there. Lily's alive. I couldn't care less. And if she's dead, I'm not mourning her. Alive or dead, she's gone. Where are you going? To get some fresh air. It's too hot in here from that torch you're carrying.
wonderful? Yeah, and that little girl's wonderful, too. I'm glad to see you, Mr. Masters. Thank you. We've all heard about your terrible misfortune, and we're all very sorry about it. Well. But I understand you're putting together some acts for a new circus. That's right, Dojo. That's what I want to talk to you about. Oh, good. Would you, uh, would you like to come in, please? Thank you. And if you don't mind, I'll take this stuff off. Fine. I'll only be a minute. Take your time. Hello? Hello. What's your name? Giovanna, sir. Hmm. I'll bet you love the ballet. Oh, yes, sir, I do. I've been studying a long time, since I was five. That make-believe wire act you do is beautiful. Oh, thank you, sir. I wonder, can you really walk a high wire? No, sir. I've never tried. Oh, that's too bad. Be wonderful if you could. Ballet dancing on a wire? Oh. The ballerina and the clown in the high wire act. Oh. Interested, Dojo? Yes. Very much. Uncle Tojo will teach me to dance on a high wire. I will be very good. Honest. I believe you. Still the fine showman. Hey, Matt. Aldo. Yes. Aldo Alfredo. Formerly of the three Alfredos. Where is Lily? Well, uh... Well, haven't you heard from her? Where is Lily? I don't know. Well, the last time I saw her was in uh, was in Copenhagen. She was uh, she was working a show under another name. When I uh, when I went over to speak to her, she ran away. I uh, I don't know if it's true, but now I hear she's in uh, Hamburg. Now I suppose you're not interested anymore in the in the ballerina and the clown on the high wire. I'm not buying trouble. Look, Matt, there'll be no trouble. I am only interested in Giovanna's future, her success. Well, well, well. Looks like you finally found something. Aldo Alfredo. Cap Carson. You can't give this guy a job. That's like hiring your own executioner. The vendetta is over. The story of my brother's forgotten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt, oh, isn't she lovely? Beautiful. You're Tony Alfredo. Yes, I am. Well, Tony, I'd, I'd like you to meet my niece, Giovanna. Hello. Hello. And I'm Tojo, the clown. How do you do? I saw you dancing. You're lovely. It will be much better on the high wire. Please, Mr. Masters, will you take us? That is up to your uncle. Giovanna and I will be very happy to join you. Won't we? Yes. Well, Tony, it looks like we've hired ourselves an act. And if you don't change your mind, we winter quarter in Madrid. See you there. Right. Good luck. <gasps> no, not good luck. It's bad to wish good luck. You kick them, remember? And say, break a leg. Of course. Break a leg. Ooh, Giovanna. <laughs> Work hard. I will, I promise. Good. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.
wait here. I'm going to talk to this man. something you want? I'd like to talk to Mr. Schumann when it's convenient. I'm Mrs. Schumann. What do you want? Oh, Mrs. Schumann, I'm Matt Masters. We're getting together a circus. I know, Mr. Masters. You don't need to tell me. Everybody knows. News travels fast in the circus world. I guess that answers all the questions except the important one. Are you interested? Listen. Emile has been doing his act for three seasons now. Every season they ask for more lions to be sitting down on him. I, I mean, lying down on him. Emile is getting very tired of lions. I can't say that I blame him, but I have something else in mind. What? Tigers. Tigers? You want me to lie down in the cage and the tigers lie on top of me? No, monsieur. Emile, no snap judgment. Every time a lion drops on me. I am playing Russian roulette, but tigers? No, monsieur. No, no. Let's get down to business. I bought these lions for Emile. If you expect me now to buy... Oh, we have plenty of tigers. All right, then. I'll speak to my husband until he makes the right decision. Good. Thank you. Lovely. Lily's girl. Oh, she's beautiful, huh? Hello, Mr. Masters. You don't remember me either. Flow high, tumbling in. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Broke me back, no more cartwheels. Oh. <laughs> Got married, four kids, easier work. Great. I'm wardrobe here. Good. The girls are longing to meet you, Mr. Masters. Fritzy, Hello. Anna. Ladies. I was telling them about Tony out there. Haven't seen her since she was five. I recognize her. Same beautiful face as Lily. Fritzy knows Lily. Oh, a tragedy, that Lily. Well, maybe seeing her daughter will help. Make her pull herself together. Seeing her? You mean she hasn't? But she's here in Hamburg. Lily? Don't worry, she'll turn up. Oh, yes, Mr. Masters. You know, in Leipzig, she talked all the time about Tony. Flo, do you have uh, Lily's address? I knew where she lived a month ago, but I meant to write... Yes. Uh, Mr. Masters. Pardon me. Be right back. My husband says no tigers. Oh, I'm sorry. But I like the idea. It's new faces in the act. So don't worry. I know how to handle him. I will let you know. My husband always does the right thing in the end. Well, thanks. A man is lucky to have a smart woman to guide him. Thank you. I'll be glad to hear from you, Mrs. Schumann. You will. I got it. You let me write it down. someone. This picture was taken some time ago. But have you seen her? Yeah. Jawohl. That's Margot. She's around sometimes. Well, good. Maybe you could uh, give me her address. Her address? She's living upstairs. Well, is she in now? 
No, she has been gone for a few days. Could I look at her room? Sure, sure, of course, of course, sure. Hilda! Yeah? The Americano! Hey, there. Hello, sweetheart. Show this gentleman Margot's room. Margot? She's not there? Show him the room. All right. This way, sir. <laughs> You know Margot? Yes, I do. She doesn't come back for two days. Always getting lost. Lot of girls like that. And you can tell the ones who want to get lost. Like Margot. You see her, and then you don't see her for a long time. Voila. Looks to me like she's not coming back. God knows, there is not much to come back to. Ask Margot once, why do you pick out a room so plain, like a prison? So she says, plain is more peaceful, like in the convent. Convent? Yeah, she was in the convent. Nobody's allowed to talk there. Just work and pray. She told me. She wants to be a nun so she can forget. You understand? Uh, get lost, you know? You know you can get lost good in one of those women's religious places? Yeah. <laughs> you can see that there. She's still got all that stuff. Uh, crosses, beads, little books, candles, uh, everything. Are you uh, a relative? No. No relative. Friend? Yes, I was a long time ago. Are you what she was trying to forget? I was part of it. Merci. When you see Margot, say hello from Hilda. I will, Hilda. Good. Much obliged.
I mean, if you're not using them. Yes, of course you can. Thank you. Doc, look at that. How's the ankle, Tony? It will be fine with this tight bandage. Good. I'm going to change. Now, stand there, Tony. See how that feels. It's all right, Doctor. Here, put your boot on and keep the swelling down. Thank you. You forgot your things. Oh, thanks. Is it uh, very bad, your ankle? No, I sprain something all the time. Well, soak it tonight in salt and, and vinegar. That's very good for sprains. Really? You're a circus performer. I mean, you used to be. But how can you tell? <laughs> From the way you stand. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I used to work in shows. Did you ever work up high? They won't let me, but I sneak in a lot of practice. On the trapeze? Yes, flying. And I'm good at it, too. Because my father was the best in the world. Oh, if you've been in shows, you must have heard of him, the flying Alfredo. Yes, I, I heard of him years ago. He was the only one who ever did a triple somersault. Nobody has ever done it since him. Uh, was your mother in the circus? I don't remember. Could I ask you something personal? What about? If you're looking for a job, I... I... Oh, thank you. You're very kind. <laughs> I like talking to all circus performers. I'm sorry. I didn't mean old. I mean... veterans. But I like talking to the young ones. Especially a girl who's going to be a big star. <laughs> Maybe, if the omens are right. Oh, I'm on next. Hey, Tony. Yes. Can you make it? Yes. Easy. Okay, two minutes. Goodbye. Something in the matter? Oh, no. It's been so nice talking to you. Good luck. Thank you. Goodbye. Hey, where's the shot, John? Come on, get up for it. Well, it happened. What? I just saw an old friend of yours. Where is she? Over <laughs> by the hospital.
Leave me alone. Lily. Changed a little bit. People change. It's been a long time, Matt. Nearly 15 years. Oh, Matt, don't look at me. I saw a friend of yours in Hamburg. She said to say hello. Hilda, you were there. Oh, Matt. Why, Lily? Why? Answer me. Why did you do it? Leave me alone! How long do you think you can keep running away? How long are you gonna flop around in cheap joints hawking your soul? I killed him! I killed! Alfredo. Just as if I'd used a knife, I killed him. All right, you killed him. Or I did. Or maybe it was something neither of us could help. Or anybody. Because it's God knows we didn't just wake up one morning and say, today we're going to fall in love. But it happened, though. What happened, happened, Lily. You've paid. Oh, go away, Matt. Find yourself a life with someone. Let's forget about us. Say that's over, finished, through. You've got a daughter. What about her? Well, that night when I saw Alfredo dead, I, I ran. Outside, people stared. I was still in costume. The only place I could find to hide was in a church. In the mornings, the nuns found me. They gave me clothes. They were kind to me. And it was a haven. It seemed like an answer. A convent. It took the easy way. Easy? I had to give up Tony. But she had you, Matt. You've been good for her. Some things a man just can't do. He, she has to learn from a woman, from her mother. She needs you. How can I? Look at me. What would you do? I'd wash my face. I'd comb my hair and make myself decent enough to go up to that little girl and say I'm your mother. It's too late. And I'm too tired. Too late. Still full of self-pity. Oh, yeah.
safe. Hard paying bills without money. Takes my mess. Oh, we did all right today. 81 kids, 77 grown-ups, six deadheads. Total 259 pesetas. That's $43 American. Very good. 8,000 more and we get our tent. That's right. Any other problems? Yes, you do have a problem. Tony, she's sick and tired of playing clown. She got some of the wardrobe girls fixing her up a fancy costume. She's going for the high trapeze. Well, they may be fixing her a costume, but she isn't going to wear it. You let me know if she does. I'll let you know. Hey, a good girl. Line up. Ah, good girl. Line up, please. 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 Get inside. Look. Look at them. They hate me. Emil, I don't want people to think you're a coward. You think she'll get him to go in there? She got him all the way from Hamburg to Madrid. Ought to be able to get him in a cage. It's a big difference, lions to tigers. Wives don't notice such things. Hello, Maggie. How's the leg? You're one foot higher today, but it doesn't matter. The wire's the same. Now, never look at your feet. Never. Look right here. You walk with your eyes. You ready? Go. Nice work, Giovanni. Thank you. Look right here. Oh, I'm sorry, Aldo. It's all right. Haven't you got some rehearsing to do? Yes, sir. Well, get at it. All right, Tony. You've had your fun. Come on down. Matt, I'm learning beautifully. Beautifully. I don't want you learning anything. I catch you up in the air again, I'll put you back in the cook tent. You hear me? Get down. Come on down. Well, haven't you got something to do? Riding a horse or something? Well, yeah, but... Well, I, uh... You know, uh... Come on, Tony. You look beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Go ride your horse. That's a nice-looking outfit. New? Yes. The wardrobe girls made it for me. Oh. Well, has uh, Matt seen it? No. I didn't put it on for him. 
Do you like it? I'm getting used to it. Oh, you'd rather I wore the Salvation Army dresses that might bite me. Oh, no, you look much better in this rig, but different. How different? Better different? Or worse different? Well, better different for me, but Matt, he's oh, gonna... Oh, Matt will make faces. He always does. But they never last long. He'll be all right by tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh anyway, the, the day after. Tony told me you balled her out this morning. Yes, I did. For going up on the high trapeze? Look, with Lily for a mother and Alfredo for a father, isn't that kind of like balling out a duck for taking the water? She's just a kid. Are you gonna... Are you gonna tell Tony that, uh... That you saw her mother? It's your play. Are you? No, I'm not. And it's your move. Quit reminding me. Yeah, hey, she's growing up fast. Looks like her baby days are over. <laughs> Wonderful day in my life. I'm a woman. I love everybody. You encouraged her. I saw it. Grabbing her and whirling and twirling her around. Oh, Matt, that's called dancing. Well, I call it dirty handling. Grown man like you taking advantage of a kid. Do you deny it? I deny nothing. I well, was out there. Keep calm. I'm not going to belt you. Belt me? You sounded off in Paris about wanting to be my partner. That's right. Well, mister, you're certainly going about it in the wrong way. Making slick, underhanded passes at Tony will get you nothing. Except a busted head. A busted head? Why is... in my whole life I've never seen anything as cheap and disgusting as the way you've been working your way under that Matt, little girl. Can guard. I say something? Say it. She is a woman. Not yet, she isn't. And she isn't going to be made into one by any fly by night circus bum. When Tony meets a man, it's going to be for true love. No penny ante fella using her for a blue chip. Matt. You figured me about as wrong as any man possibly could. Steve, where are you going? Steering clear of you. Steve! Now, listen, do me a favor. Just stay away from me. I don't want a busted head. to do ruin my life now wait a minute I... i'm tired of being treated like a baby i didn't call you a oh, baby well, no but if you had your way i'd be cooped up in a playpen with dolls or in a high chair eating mush and drinking milk out of a bottle and my clothes look i'm still wearing bloomers oh well, maybe you're a little grown up for those but i've been trying to help you over the help me making me look like an idiot in front of everybody i'll never forgive you i'm going to grow up and you're not going to stop me. I can't stop you. You're no kid anymore. Then what am I? Say it. Just let me hear you say it once. Just once. You're a woman, Tony. I got eyes. I can see. 
You're a beautiful young woman. You're just starting. And why? Please, let me, just let me talk. There's a lot of things that I should have said before, but uh, I keep putting them off. Go on. Well, it's time you learn some facts. You know, facts about... I'm listening. Well, sometimes with two people. Well, things can get out of hand sometimes, and it's the woman that has to be strong. A man, well... Well, a man's generally no better than he has to be. Look at those idiots today, ogling you and whispering. Oh, because I wore that costume? Why? Everybody loved it. I'm telling you, there isn't a man in this place you can trust. But there are exceptions. A girl has to get married sometime. Oh, Tony, I'm not talking about Steve or any man. It's you that matters. I don't want you to start off stumbling. But I'm in love, Matt. Honest. In love. I guess maybe you are. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you won't get hurt, but I just don't want you to do your first high dive without a net, that's all. Funny. When I came in, I, I wanted to kill you. I'm glad you changed your mind. Matt, there's something you're not saying. Something sad in you. I've felt it before. Nothing like that. Oh, it isn't anything I've done, is it? No, Tony. You've given me nothing but good things. Happiness. And I'm grateful. Oh, Matt, I owe you so much. And please don't worry. If I'll do any high dive, I'll use a net. Hey, Matt, you coming to supper? No. And close that door. It's kind of cozy in here. Oh, uh... <laughs> Schumann claims one of his tigers has got indigestion. He wants a doctor to examine him. I told him flat. I don't know any tiger doctors. <laughs> Go on to supper. Don't bother me. What's on the program, man? I don't know. Maybe we ought to take the new Matt Master Circus and dump it in a junkyard. Are you crazy? We're only 2,000 bucks shy on the price of a tent. We're shy a lot more than that. Ah. Come, come on to supper. They got a new rice dish. Well, you eat it. Look, I gotta go through all this mail. Letters from agents, phony acts. But they always come crawling out. Matt, you're putting on a circus. Am I? Well, it's my opinion. In a circus, you have to have artists flying through the air, like musical notes. Somebody making a tune with them. Somebody with a calliope inside. Calliope? Well, you, you got steam coming out of your ears. Go away, Cap. Okay. And close the door. I think you and that tiger both need a doctor. Hello, Lily. Hello, Cat. Kind of wet out here, but... Might be worse inside. Will you make up your mind and stop opening and close? Well, 
I wash my face. And I combed my hair. Look at he better. About eight pounds better. Seven. A rope and a and rigging will, it'll take off another seven. Matt, do you have a spot for another performer? Lily. Just a performer. No relative. She'll know you. Not for a long time, Matt. If you don't want it, never. I just want to be a performer. Working near her. Matt! Hey, Matt! You in there? Oh, you're the lady who told me about salt and vinegar for my ankle. I thought you were looking for a job, remember? Yes. I was just talking to Mr. Masters about it. What's your act? High trapeze. Oh, I love that. Matt, we haven't got one woman working high. We need someone. What uh, is your full name? Margot Angeli. I'm Tony Alfredo. Will you join us for supper, Margot? Well, I have to unpack, Tony. Have you eaten, Miss Angeli? No. I haven't. Well, you're more than welcome to join us. Oh, fine. And here you won't get wet. Angeli, you're early. It's been a long time. I need to practice. Well, you're rigging secure. Thanks, Cap. Anytime. Just lie quiet. You'll be fine. You'll be all right. You're Elder. I shouldn't have surprised you that way. Uh, I thought. Did I upset you? Oh, it's nothing, Matt. She just had a little shock. I thought she knew I was here. Sorry. You fell. You're not going up again. But it had nothing to do with my strength. It was Aldo. He stood there looking at me. With Alfredo's eyes. In Alfredo's clothes. I... I thought it was Alfredo. It was just my imagination. I wonder. Well, 
Anyway, it won't work out, Lily. It can't. Because of Aldo? I'm not afraid of him. Not Aldo. You. You and Tony. But she likes me, Matt. Why, last night Last she night said... you were somebody in the rain. No. There's more to it, Matt. She feels something. Yeah, well, it's a feeling you're not gonna like. You're a blacked-out figure in her scrapbook, Lily, and in her life. And I did that, and I meant to do it. Way back when she was a little kid, she blamed herself because you'd gone away. It took a long time to convince her it wasn't her fault. I gotta told her the truth. But I didn't. I lied. So she blacked you out like I blacked you out. I taught her that. Then why did you go to Hamburg? Oh, Matt, let me stay until she finds out. Maybe by then she'll... she'll get to know me. <laughs> I'm not a monster. She's been hurt once, that's enough. Well, if she hates me, it won't hurt her to find out. She may curse me, spit at me, and, and tell me to get out. She has a right. And if she tells me to go, I'll go. It won't hurt her to have her revenge and win. What happens to you? I'll take my chances. You get guts, Lily. I hope you win. Steve. Oh, nothing. Yes, there is. You kept your eyes open when you kissed me. I was doing sentry duty. Oh, stop worrying about Matt. Steve, he isn't here. Tony, he's all over the place. I don't like acting like two kids, scared of Matt spotting us, sneaking off so he doesn't see us. Do you like that, Tony? Not entirely. I didn't tell you what was biting him because I didn't want a lot of argument. But he thinks that I'm courting you so I can become his partner, using you to blackmail him. That's the kind of fathead he is. You could have told him he was talking crazy. I didn't have much chance, but I'm going to. Oh, do we have to leave right now? Yes. And I'm telling Matt Masters that I wouldn't be his partner if he got on his knees and begged me. And the only part of his circus I want is Tony Alfredo. Do we have to tell him now? Yes. You coming? Sure. Wait a minute. Now what are you doing? For good luck on a journey. You're going to need some. Now? Now. Well, back together again, eh? Glad right. to see that you two have made up. Happy right. faces, that's what we need in a circus. How you doing with your trapeze, honey? I'm doing fine everywhere. <laughs> well, don't waste it on me, him. And now you can go back to your secret hiding place that nobody knows about.
Thank you, Goliath. At least I miss Marco. Good morning. Good morning. You do those turns just beautifully. <laughs> I thought I was rather stiff. I've, I've seen you work before, somewhere. No, no, I doubt that. Oh, I'm sure I have. Where did you work in the United States? Oh, it's been a long time, Tony. And not many shows you've ever seen. I've seen a lot of shows with Matt. And then the shows you were in, I'll bet you I remember. Well, how did it go today, Miss Anjali? Twenty-five turns. Wonderful. Five more than yesterday. Great. Matt, I just told Margot that I think... What are you I'm... doing on the ground? I thought you wanted to be an aerialist. Get up there and work at it. Well, go on. I'd like to see you do 25 flanges. That's easy. Just watch. Thanks for saving me. What brought that on? Will you count for me? I'm counting. I don't know. When she was a little girl, she used to sit on the ring curve and, and watch me work out. I remember. That's how she learned to count. Counting your turns. How much does she know about her father and me? Well, she knows her father died in the fall and you disappeared. How much does she know about you? Well, I spanked her when she was bad. Loved her when she was good. I'm just there, like, night and day. She never questions it. Would you be afraid to... To let her know the truth about what happened. It would be a lie to say I wasn't afraid. I don't want to lose her, Lily. She's like my own. She needn't ever know. Oh, I intend to tell her. Sometime. Take my chances. How many? Fifteen. Fifteen? It's twenty-two. Fifteen's my count. Start over. Start over? That's not fair. Hey, Matt! Matt, it's here. The canvas. The tent. It's coming right up the road. Hey, Tony! Tony! Come, come on, on, everybody! Sicily, we say, those who want forgiveness must first knock at the gates and wait for the devil to answer. 
Haven't I waited long enough? Get big... off it, Matt. Leave him alone. Leave him alone? It's dark out there. Well, kids like the dark. Weren't you ever young? I don't know. Uh, why don't you mind your own business? Give me some coffee. Come on. Alfredo's walls. Lily. He made a swing to that walls. I can't stay here, Matt. I just can't do it. Dance to it, Lily. Dance. It's just an old waltz. Just an old piece of music. God forgive me. But I still love you, Matt. It's nothing to be ashamed of, then or now. It's all right. Fathead's dancing. Hey, maybe we could rent him our place up in the balcony, huh? No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Honey, have you told Matt? Not exactly, but I hinted about it. Church, white veil, orange blossoms, and all those omens. Well, did you happen to mention me? In a general way. <laughs> you know, I have a feeling that he didn't know what you were talking about. He's been very busy. He doesn't concentrate. Concentrate? No, he's been concentrating with Margot. That's where he's been concentrating. I'm glad he is. She's nice. Very nice. Oh, Tony. Do you want me to tell him? Uh, oh, if we're going to get married Sunday, somebody's got to. No, I want to tell him. Well, there he is now. Go tell him. Hello, boss. Hello, Goliath. You winning? Oh, well, not now. Oh, why? Look, he's in a good mood. He's laughing. No, I have to get dressed for rehearsal. I'll tell him later. When? Later. Just later. Just later. May I come in? <laughs> yes, I wish you would. Oh, lilacs. How beautiful. I know who they're from, Matt. Lilacs are good luck. I hope so. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. All right, could I have it quiet, please? Everybody here? Where's Tony? And Tojo, where's he? Well, I'll get him in. Well, folks, it's finally here. It's a half hour to dress rehearsal. No breaks and no waits. 
I want the same performance you're going to give tonight. So check your costumes and your props and pick up those music cues. Yes, sir. Are there any questions? All right, when I blow this whistle for the grand parade, you're all on your own. You're a fine group of artists, the best in the world. And I don't want you to forget that for a minute. And also, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for the hard work that's made this circus possible. So, break a leg. Let's get to it. I'm, I'm trying to get up enough nerve to tell Matt that I'm getting married. It's not that I'm afraid, but, well, I'm all he has. He doesn't have a family or anyone like that, and he'll be alone when I get married. Not really alone, but, you know, it won't be the same, even if I'm still on the show. You see what I mean? I understand, of course. <laughs> Matt is very good. He's kind and sweet. And if he's sort of loud sometimes, it's just because he's full of fun and he loves life. There have been a lot of women after him for years, but none of them were right for him, I guess. I think you are right, I mean. You do like him, don't you? What's the matter? Thirty minutes. Hey, you better get dressed or Matt will put you back on the stagecoach. I'm going. Think about what I said. I will. Hey, uh... What was that all about? She... She was trying to match me with... with Matt. You know, Lily... You and Matt are digging an awfully deep hole for yourselves. Time it took them four minutes to make that. Are you working here? Get into your costume. Where was I? Four minutes. Take two out of it. Better work those ponies number three ring. They get a little nervous working around cats. Right. Look at that! Look at that! Is that my mother? Answer me! Is she my mother? Yes, Tony. And this! They said my father killed himself. He died from a high trapeze and left a note about my mother and another man. Is that true? Is it true? It's true. You didn't tell me any of this. Why? Tell me why. I'm the other man, Tony. It was me. You! Oh! What 
Well, you told her that much. Why didn't you tell her the rest of it? Why didn't you tell her about her father and how loyal Lily really was? What good would that have done? Lily. You! You sneak back and think you can make me love you! I only... I you mean, thought you could trick me, but you didn't trick me, you see? I know, I know everything! I know what you are and what he is! Tony, Tony, we only wanted... You to... wanted Matt again, that's what you wanted! To roll around in filth with Tony. Matt again! Well, here he is! Take him! Take him! Make love to him! Crawl that's on enough. him! That's enough! It's not enough! You liars, you cheat! You killed my father! It would only be enough if I killed both of you! Tony, grow up. Be a woman. Belly Aiken will do you no good. There's Steve. You wanted to marry him. Go with him. Make a life of your own. I hope it's a better one than Lily's head. I hope she has no Get life on. at all! Not now, not ever! Lily? Lily? We both said we could take it. Remember? Rehearsal. I'll be there. So just pack up and let's get out of here. What else could I do? You could have used a little understanding. Or realized whoever planted this stuff in here was doing everything in his power to make their love look dirty. And I just don't believe it. But then you've known Matt longer than I have. I've only known him for ten years. That's parade call. You want to get ready? No! All right. Damn chance. Get those animals out of here! 
a dirty face. <laughs> huh? Started in the wardrobe caravan. Yeah, well, we got a piece of tent, a whole show, and a half an idea. And if it works out, this circus goes on. Tonight. Tonight? Are you out of your mind? Yeah, Let the doctor take a look at it. A show with this? Come on, let's check the damage.
new trick. Okay, okay. Hold the plate. With my revolver, I shoot the bullet in your mouth. No, no. Just fit it out in the plate. That's all you do. Okay, okay. I go over there. Give her some of those owl feathers. I haven't got any. You haven't? You! Well, how do you think I got this big top up? <laughs> Break a leg.
Julie's getting tired. She won't quit. Something's happened. Tony's quit. Nothing's happened. She knows what she's doing. A wonderful kid. Lily! 71! 72! 73! 74! 75! 76! 77! 78! 79! 80! 81! 82! 83! 84! 85! It's a crime.